hello guys welcome to civil craft youtube channel and in this video we are going to discuss what is flat slab its uses advantages and disadvantages and before going into the video if you're new to this channel do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be receiving a notification whenever i post a new video on civil engineering and architecture so what is flat slab flat slab is an rcc slab built monolithically with supporting columns and reinforced in two or more directions. Beams are not provided to support the slab. The loads are directly transferred to the columns. In flat slabs, the columns are provided with enlarged heads called capitals or capital heads. The thickness of the slab over columns is also increased to support heavy loads and the thickened part of the slab is called drop panel. For lighter loads, the column heads and drop panels are eliminated. Such flat slab with constant thickness supported on prismatic columns are called flat plate. Now let's see the types of the flat slab. There are four types of flat slab and the first one is flat slab with drop panel. Second flat slab with column head. Third flat slab with drop panel and column head. And fourth flat slab without drop panel and column head. Uses of flat slab. Flat slabs are mostly used in large industrial structures, parking garages, ramps, warehouse, high-rise buildings and hotels. They are also used where uses of beams are not required or where the structure requires less formwork. Now let's discuss on the advantages of flat slabs. Flat slabs reduces the overall height of the structure. They are capable to carry concentrated loads. Flat slabs always requires less formwork. As reinforcement detailing of flat slabs is simple, it is easy to place. Flat slabs provides better quality control. Installation of sprinkler and other piping and utilities are easier due to the absence of beams. Flat slabs gives a better appearance and better diffusion of light. Flat slabs are also better fire resistant other than other flow systems. The construction time period of flat slabs is fast. Now let's see the disadvantages of flat slab. In flat slab system, construction of large span is not possible. Use of drop panels may interfere with larger mechanical ducting. Flat slabs are not suitable for masonry partitions. The thickness of flat plate slab is higher compared to the typical RCC two-way slab. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you got a basic knowledge on what is flat slab, its uses, advantages and disadvantages. Please do like and share this video if you find it useful. And see you soon on the next video.